These problems are about surface area, and surface area means what's the area of the outside of some shape. You can imagine if you cut something apart and flattened it out, then you'd be able to, to measure its area. And the first thing they're giving us here is a soup can. And actually, um, so you've got a couple of things going on with this. Uh, here's a soup can, well, a garbanzo bean can. And this outside, this, uh, let me pull off the label here and show you. I don't know if you can see this, it's not far enough away, but that actually is a rectangle. So the outside, this part of it that wraps around the soup can, ends up being a rectangle. And its, its width is the height of the can, and its length, how long it is, well, it has to wrap all the way around. So how long it is, is going to be the circumference of that circle. So for this part of the soup can, and that's actually the, um, the, the first question, what is the surface area of the label of the soup can? We have to do this seven times, so that's the, the length or the width, and then the length would be the circumference of this circle. So seven times, I'm just going to put C for circumference. Well, how do we figure out the circumference of the circle? The formula for circumference is 2 pi r, and what is the radius we're working with here? Well, it looks like all the way across the top of the circle here is 4 centimeters. So the radius would be half of that, or 2. So this is going to be circumference equals 2 times pi times 2, or 4 times pi. And let's uh, punch that in the calculator. And I get 12.56. So if I put that back up here, 7 times 12.56 equals 87.92. So that's the surface area for the label part of the can, or the part of the can that the label would cover up. But there's more to the surface area of a can than that. There's the top, and there's the bottom. And to figure out the area of the top and the bottom, we just have to know the formula for the area of a circle. We know the radius is 2. We figured that out last time. And the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So let's figure out the area of the top first here. So 2 squared is 4, so that's area equals pi times 4, and that would be 12.56. But we have two of them, so we're going to multiply that by 2, which would be 25.12. That we have to add to our label part of the can, so 87.92 plus 25.12, and we get a grand total of 113.04 centimeters squared. So, quite a few steps on that one. Label part of the can is a, a rectangle with one side the height, the other side the circumference of the circle, and then you need to add in the area of the two circles. Let's look at another one. This one's probably a little easier. It says, what is the surface area of the rectangular prism? Dimensions are in meters. Now, the only thing to, um, you know, uh, pay attention to here is to make sure you get all the sides. There are some that we can see and some that are sort of behind or underneath this box. I like to think of them in pairs. I know that there are six sides here. If I think about this side, it's got one that's exactly the same, and that would be this side over here, the sort of the two ends of the box. And these are one by two. So their area... 1 by 2 is 2, 2, and then 2. So that's for this side and this side. And we're going to add all these areas that we figure out together. Now let's look at this side. That is 15 long, and it's 1 high. So 15 times 1 is 15, and that is this side, plus there's the side that's back here that you can't see that's going to be the same shape. So 15 plus 15. Now there are two more sides, and that would be the top and then the bottom that we're not seeing. The top is 15 long and it's 2 wide. So 15 times 2 is 30. So that's 30 plus 30. And then you just have to add all those together. 30, 60, 90, it looks like 94. And our units are meters and that's meters squared because this is area. 
All right, one more. This one's a little tricky if you haven't seen it before, too. It says, what is the surface area of the right triangular prism? Dimensions are in millimeters. And again, you want to think about the sides that you can't see. We see this triangular side over here, but there's one exactly like it over here. So let's do those two sides first. And to figure out the area of a triangle, of course, it's area equals one-half base times height. This is a right triangle, so our base, it looks like, is six. And our height is eight. And let's see, that's going to be 24. But there are two of those, so we'll start here, 24 plus 24. Now we've got those two sides. There are three more sides here. There's this side, there's the bottom, and then there's sort of the back that we're not seeing. And they're all, it looks like they're all going to be different. So let's take a look at this side that we can see, this sloping front. If we can find two sides, we can figure out the area. And it looks like if I take those two sides, one is 10, one is 6, that's going to be 60. 10 times 6 is 60. Now let's try the bottom here. The bottom, this side is going to be 6, and this side is going to be 6. So the bottom is actually a square of 6 times 6, or 36. And then finally, we've got this back here that we can't see. Well, it's, it's going to be 6 wide, and it's 8 high. So 6 times 8 is 48. And now we just have to add all of those together. 24 plus 24 plus 60 plus 36 plus 48. And I get 192, and this was millimeters, and it's area, so it's square millimeters. So those are some problems about figuring out surface area.